Hey everybody, it's Risley. We're playing Super Otter Pets. Let's give it a go. Alrighty then, we're starting with the classics, and I will say I can appreciate every single one of these dearest classics. I like a shot and I like stats. Basically, I'll buy any animal that starts with 2-3 or 3-2 in their stat bar. A mouse is pretty respectable though. Just for a simple buy-sell, even in the beginning of the game when you feel like, no, I should only buy units that I actually want that can fight. I sell pretty good. I would take a mouse. Then we can be some flabbergasted muffins. It's not muffin time today. It's not time to die. And doesn't that just blow their minds? They're like, but I was born to be eaten. How could it ever not be muffin time? And you're like, well, the song's not playing, so you just can't. You can't make a dramatic exit without background music, otherwise you've wasted your dearest of times. Let's make it symmetrical. Let's make it a bee, possibly. Well, also two ducks, though. Two large ducks. Tragedy, the current weekly, does not include bison. Everyone, get your napkins out, get your tissues, wipe your eyes. I know everyone's really sad about that fact. Especially when the previous weekly had one, because then you're like, oh, but he was my best friend, I knew him for so long. We got so acquainted in the fact that we were always aiming to get him basically every round. I would love a lizard such that I will start conjoining. Would I conjoin you? On turn three, I would go for one. Yes, but first, this. Specifically just because I would like to give a free apple to our lizard. Lizard is one of those units that's like surprisingly, even though it's like a tier two, it goes so hard. If you can actually get stats into a lizard, I wish we had like broccoli this weekly because health is like jamming, but man, so many times have I fought a lizard like mid late game that just got decent stats. It's, it's ability is just so good. I wish I could have killed you in one hit. Because then this whole thing could have gone differently. Because I would have not gotten hit in one go on the lizard. Spawned a thing, possibly got a kill on that. You're lucky, enemy squad. You're lucky that I am not the most ideal of scenarios. Would I save things for a level? I'd rather do this. We'll save one of them. We're already going for big duck. I also don't need a big beetle. I feel like in terms of um, financial security, that's probably not the best investment I could be choosing from. The best investment for me right now is to wait until something cool comes along. Everything else that I've got options for is pretty crud. Please give me an awesome. Well, is it an awesome? Um, kind of, if I had units that I cared about getting stats, which currently I don't, but now I do. Happy birthday to me. And we can actually sell and buy this. Would I rather give it health? No, you've got decent stats. I wish that you could- I could choose to have you give this to him instead. Can I just transfer the information here? Can I take his life experience it and just like erase it from his mind with some sort of like cool sci-fi maneuver and give it to the slug? Be born as a baby with the knowledge of a, of a level 2 34 year old man could be kind of funky. Okay, that's a lot of stats. A peacock is a real back and forth scenario, you know? Half the time. Like, he gets so much attack, but he only needs the first hit of, like, attack bonus, because past that, he's probably gonna die pretty soon just from lack of health, unless you can really go hard on it. I guess I'd buy you an apple. You're actually good, though. I would really like someone else to get to level 2 before I start committing to you. Is it better than a dolphin? Toad Mosquito is a jam. It's a jam I've experienced, and it's a jam people have said. I would like this... I'm not gonna save a toad though, like I'm not so committed that I would carry it on fourth work. So we're still gonna go with duck and lizard. Lizard is cool, slug could do something. That's the trouble, as I keep running lizard and slug and being like, well, this is obviously kind of suave in terms of summon squad, let's get some cool summon backline units. There aren't many, or at least I have not seen many. I'm so glad that got killed, thank god. And that's gonna give us the win. Very nice, the perfect way of luck. Sometimes RNG is all you need. The tree frog, right? Pros and dart fog, he's good behind you. And I'm like, I'll just do that then. But also I'm like, well, I did that like twice last time and I did die both times. So is it, is it, is it, are you what's wrong? Should I stop committing to this concept? I just feel slug is pretty cool. But there's no like turkeys or sharks or anything really that like, or bear. Yeah, there's like literally nothing to help you in tier six. So maybe it's kind of like a dead cause. It could be good in the short term though. At least the shorty short short term, the shortest of short terms, it could be kind of cool. Could also buy a falcon better than a dolphin? Yes, especially given our dolphin has zero stats and I have not contributed almost any affection to him. We haven't gone out on any events. 
He hasn't been to any like roller rinks or bowling alleys, and I feel like without those, what is your childhood? Honestly, it's kind of surprising to me that bowling alleys still exist in the other day, though, because whenever I've gone to a bowling alley, which I haven't gone since, like, high school, so, like, a few years, I feel like it's always empty. I, I just can't imagine there being more than, like, two lanes max being used in a bowling alley at any given time. But I recently saw a video where someone was talking about how much earnings they made, and it wasn't amazing, but it was definitely good enough for the owner to be like, yeah, this is pretty sweet, you know, a few thousand dollars a month. It's decent. And he was saying that he has an average of 200 people coming into his bowling alley, like, every day. And I'm like, really? That sounds kind of preposterous. 200 people in a single bowling alley on average a day? Like, there's more than that? Maybe with birthdays. That's the crazy thing, is I'm like, you can't have a business, I feel, that is based off of only doing birthday things. Or, like, you know, like, people, kids would only usually gather on a special occasion. But then you also have to think that, well, every kid has a birthday. But how many kids have a birthday? Well, all of them. But also, their parents are willing to spend the money to get, like, a big fancy party going to, like, Chuck E. Cheese or whatever. I feel like it's definitely less, but apparently it's enough to keep them writing. I don't know how many kids are going to Chuck E. Cheese not on their birthday. But then they can go on someone else's birthday. So one person's birthday. Technically, you could go to Chuck E. Cheese's, like, 15 times in one year if you just have a bunch of friends, or at least vague friends. If you befriend a bunch of people with this distinct interest of, uh getting to go to more birthday parties every year. I, you could have an argument to switch to a crocodile, switch someone to a crocodile, but despite the fact that this maneuver has failed me every time thus far, I'm willing to give it one more shot. If we don't get at least eight wins this turn, I will not run slog, slog. The combination of poison dart frog and slug, slog. I will not run team slog anymore after that if I lose. Damn, I lost. Okay, well, we still have two health, so we're not there yet. Definitely is probably important for me to uh, recognize when things aren't working, though. Even though it's really fun to just keep committing. You can have this so we get more stats. Do I want to give someone a meat? Not more than I want to do anything else. Yes. Apple is cool for you, but not- you could definitely have a pineapple. That's the other interesting thing, is there's not a lot of protection this week. It's like a summon team is good. Or bad. There's a lot of summoners and not a lot of benefit for it, but there's also only lemons. So you want things that, like, hit hard and not multiple tiny times, such as summoning squad. I really feel like this week is just anti-summoning squad, baby. I'm, I'm convincing myself that everything, my entire worldview, is shifting. The one week where I decide that I really like the summoning units, which I usually don't run summons very much, I like big stats is the one week where big sets is actually the way to go. Okay. We could have a tiger. Uh, we could have a level 3 slug. I don't think the slug like, leveling really gets us anything, though, honestly. I would like a food to feed the seal, and I'm actually going to specifically aim it, because I care enough for that to actually get hit. And we've got more tree frogs. We've just died twice in a row, so... Uh, my brain is saying, you're on the descent, there's no way to escalate. We don't have wings, and that is when Beefy asks, what are your shots doing? Like, six plus three? They were doing a decent amount of damage. Well, he got killed. He got killed. Ooh, honey badger. Honey for the win. I can't blame you, I love the combo. Honey badger? The badger is not often something I play, but I will admit every time I do play it, I feel like it works pretty well. In fact, let that be our aim. Let that be a lesson to you, Cupcakes. This time, we are going to be doing a badger. As soon as I see one, did I see one last time? I don't think so. So maybe the game is holding out on me. Today we're going to be some legendary phantoms, such as Danny. Danny Phantom. He was there to save us all. He accidentally went into his parents' time travel machine. It wasn't even time travel, it was ghost travel. That's even a step up from time travel. Time travel is like going back to see someone when they're alive, and ghost travel is like, I'm not going to change anything. It's safer for the bonded world, because you don't risk, like, accidentally, like, adjusting the timeline of history. You can just talk to them now. You can't save their life or make anything meaningful, but you also can't accidentally kill someone and, like, explode a volcano that somehow wasn't meant to explode for another billion of years. Stats. Stats. A draw. I can't help but notice that we're wearing a Bonnebel. I can't help but notice as well that I think we were wearing a Bonnebel pretty recently. The randomness is not quite as random as one would hope today. Good gone. And we will buy a food because we can, and you should not be up front. And if I had a mosquito, that'd be cool, but we didn't happen to get a mosquito. I guess you can have a steak or a meat. 
still kind of flabbergasted by the fact that steak is such a high tier unit. It doesn't feel that great. Especially because maybe it's just because I always just buy it when I have nothing else. It's like the trash stat, you know? You're like, eh, there's no, like, any defensives or anything, so I guess I'll buy it. I would... I didn't have a mosquito, but if you're gonna give me two, I was really hoping that was the third one. A third one would have been cool. Lost your shot at being amazing. I could sell this, run Peacock, with seven health. That's not too bad. We don't need a tier f or a level three anyway. I could also do this, but I don't think the elephant does. Uh, the elephant is a very eh for me. Very mm. If I had to say, I'd call it a eh, you know? <laughs> In the term of random gruntings. Two peacocks, that's too many. Oh, and they have decent stats. I think I'm just too committed to the concept of leveling things that this weekly, leveling does not matter. In terms of units that don't actually matter from leveling, there's no bison. There's nothing that really benefits from- Okay, Badger, you're here to stay. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Um, well, we will take that. So sadly, the only other thing that's kind of close to leveling is going to get kicked, and you can have a little bit more attack. And actually, I should have given you a B. Probably better than a little bit of attack. I hope I can actually level you at some point. That would be a pretty suave. Um, you're too strong. Maybe our peacock shouldn't be in the front line. Interesting concept you bring up. Sniping? Mmm, see? I don't know if the extra attack is what won that. I don't think it was. I think that if we just had a honey, that would have been suave too. Yes. Yes. And I still don't really want you in front, but I'm not really sure where else to put you. The problem with the badger is that I always, like, commit to it so hard. I'm like, yes, get this badger some stats. He's a great unit. But if he's going to be a great unit by virtue of being enabled, everyone else on my team is going to be stinky hot garbage because I'm just not looking at them. That was helpful. Thank you for shooting my Pico. Mmm. If only you had a little bit more health. That was almost... Okay, if they didn't have a B... Was that two or three? Which is weakness? Weakness again? Plus three damage. If they didn't have a B, that would have been jamming. That would have been it. Out of here. You can have a melon. You can have this. Roll it. Up. Uh, well, yes. I kind of would like someone else to be able to use you before you level. But I do like leveling. Yes, that's insistent. You're kind of beefy, but there's only four of you. Okay, I didn't mean to spawn that. Lemon for the win. Um, having any attack for the win. Please, God. Yes, the bee. This weakness is pulling us out of the depths of despair. We are going nowhere very quickly. Anyone want to get hot swapped? I don't think so. I think nobody wants to get hot swapped. Yes, you are a guy who does things. That's crazy. It's a crazy concept. But who do I give? He's definitely best. So, like, you can leave and get him, but then who's gone, right? You guys are a combo. So if I ditch one, I kind of want to ditch the other. I don't want to get rid of you because you're the only stacking. And I, I committed to the badger, so I guess it's the mosquito. I guess it's the mosquito. I, I don't love this. It's possibly the wrong decision to make. But I do like having decisions be made. So I'm going to go with it. Probably a banana on you might have worked a bit better. I would like a banana. You know, I didn't even think about that. That kind of marks the death of the honey badger, doesn't it? The existence of the banana spawns now? Because you're gonna upgrade to a banana at some point. Like, there's just simply no point unless you're just going for, like, the coolness of honey badger, the title itself. I don't really care about your money gain. Interesting thoughts about him is that he actually only benefits you in the long term. Bee for the win. How about monkey for the win? I do like monkeys. I do love bees, though. A bee and monkey mix? Why has no one invented this yet? Yes? No. Yes. If you could level before I die, that would be some hot spanking great news. And I could really use some great news today, my guy. I had to throw away one of my cactuses. I'm not a plant lover, mostly because I refuse to uh, put the responsibility on myself of keeping a plant alive, because I simply don't care enough. Wow, you actually got a kill? That monkey actually hit something. That's crazy. So I had two cactuses. One of them is doing fine. The other one made a bunch of babies. Oh no, the one that's doing fine has a billion babies on it. It's like, it's great. Oh wait, no, you're, okay, I was gonna say summoning a thing, but no, like that's only kind of a summoning thing. I would really like you to level, please. Please, sir, may I have a level? The one that's alive is making a bunch of babies. The one that died was really soft. I touched it, 
it, it kind of pushed in as I pushed on it, uh, very much like a overly ripe avocado or maybe a rotten apple. And I could say that's probably not ideal for a cactus. So that one's in the dumpster, which is sad because it was in a little planter that was shaped like a bunny. And now I've got this empty bunny planter. What am I supposed to do with that? Ooh, ah, uh, monkey. Close. The monkey is almost getting us there multiple times. If somebody else had a monkey, that would be cool. You're almost leveled, which is interesting. You can have a steak. It's better than what you have, at the very least. Well, yes, sir, I appreciate that. What's better, real stats or temporary stats? Well, on, on lethal, on near-death experience with life flashing before my eyes, I could maybe switch it, even though I have a chance to get it to level 2. Or 3, even. I could also get my badger to level 2. A turtle and 4. Why are you going 4 squad at my dude? Mmm. Ouch. 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 Ooh, if you were only level, like, 2, you could actually kill things. Well, you've convinced me. You deserve this more. Two of them? Ooh, oh, without food. Okay, you know what? Decision made for me. It doesn't matter because it wouldn't do anything. Yes? Stats is good. Chocolate is better. It's basically also stats. Who would have guessed it? Now that we have a level 2, 14 damage to one guy. That's not a ton of damage, but backline units also don't tend to have a ton of help. Is this person playing Super Auto Pets? The weird version where you get to analyze each of your pets individually? The turtle looks really weird without a hat on. I guess I just have always run with hats for so long at this point that the idea of that turtle, he just looks bald. He looks too bald. That's not the turtle that I know. Hmm, no. But you can have- well, no, then we lose our chance at rolling. I would rather roll. Roll for something amazing. Something amazing, I bet. This isn't too amazing, and honestly, I like you more than him, so sorry, Badger. You've been replaced with other gray thing. There are a lot of gray things, and there's a lot of uh, super great gray things, and these two are the ones I'm going with. Please, that sucked. That sucked super bad, you big jerk face. Come on, now. Ooh. Bad. No, my salsa. By my salsa, I mean my steak. Well, you almost killed that bird. Mmm. Not amazing. Not amazing? Is that what you're saying to me? Is that what you're saying to my face? I would say, well, that's true. It's because we didn't run full gray. We had this green thing sticking out here, and he had a red food and not yellow like these guys. I kind of ruined the whole drive, honestly. It's my own fault. Well, anyway. The weekly is a toughie. It certainly is. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.